All right, I just woke up and got ready to start my practicing, but my A string is driving me crazy. It has been for some time, and I haven't wanted to take the time to fix it, but I'm finally gonna fix it, and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing to fix it. Um, it's really easy, and it gets rid of a big hassle. Problem is, my A string is in the wrong winding position, so I can't get my my fingers to grab the peg comfortably like this is comfortable it fits right in that slot all my other pegs are in a pretty decent position to enable tuning but the A string is not this is a common problem with the A string because it's the peg that's the furthest to the top of the peg box and therefore when you go to stick the string in it gets blocked by the peg box so you've got two choices. You can clip a portion of that tail off so that your peg lands in a better position. And I'll try to show you the exact amount that I like to take off of a dominant string. <laughs> your other choice is to get in there with a pair of tweezers and pull that tail through the same amount that you would clip off. So here we go. Pull that puppy out of there. And I haven't done this for a while, I've just kind of put it off. The amount I'm going to clip off is about to right there. Look at it against my shirt. That's about, oh heck, quarter of an inch. Okay. I'll actually show you. Okay, so it's, it's that much. And it is. It's just barely over a quarter of an inch. Quiet, guys. Now, while I've got my string off and my peg out, I want to show you if you have peg compound, if your pegs slip and you buy some of that solid peg compound, it looks kind of like a crayon you have to pull your peg out and you've got, you have to kind of color the crayon onto the peg so that when you slip it back in it'll have that peg compound at the point of contact and it'll help your peg to grip but they've come out with these liquid this liquid peg compound I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you know if I like it it's a liquid, so you don't have to take your peg all the way out. You could just loosen it and put a drop in there. So I'll show you that as well. And hopefully it'll work as nicely as the solid peg compound, because that would be a lot easier for a beginner to do. Okay, I just wound my peg back up. It's in tune almost in tune and look the peg lines up now so it's about a little over a quarter of an inch that you clip off of a dominant string or if you don't want to clip it with nail clippers just pull it through a good quarter of an inch and that should help your A peg to line up to the right length okay now I'll show you the peg compound let's do it on the E So I just loosened my E string, okay, and pulled the peg out a little bit out that way so that the contact point is exposed. It's very liquidy, very runny, okay, so be careful to not get it on your, the body of your violin. I wouldn't even do it in this position if I weren't filming it. Okay, ooh, I'm working it in there, jamming it in. Not jamming it in, but you know what I mean. And then I'll tune it up. Feels pretty grippy, pretty good. Okay, and the trick with this peg compound is you do have to stick the peg in firmly but then what the peg compound does is it allows your peg to glide while staying in place and it seems to be doing a pretty good job so that's the liquid 
drops and they're much easier to apply because you don't have to pull your peg all the way out you just have to loosen it stick a drop right there and then work it in work it in and it seems to work just fine if I develop any problems from what I just did I'll let you know okay hope that helps you like it helps me